Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick, back again with a quick iOS update tip that could totally save your day. Today we're talking about a big one, Apple's changing how it names all its operating systems. That's right, no more iOS 19, we're jumping straight to iOS 26. Same with iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, even VisionOS is skipping ahead to 26. It's all about keeping things clean and consistent across all Apple devices. No more messy version numbers, just named it by its main year. iOS 26 might bring a lot of new stuff too. Don't know about you guys, but I'm personally looking forward to the AirPods live translation and the unified design. Don't think the AI battery management will help that much though. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to get ready for the beta drop right after the WWDC keynote on June 9th, here's what you need. First, make sure your iPhone's supported. If you're still on an XS or earlier, this update's not for you. Next, you'll need at least 10 gigabytes free before installing anything, so make sure clean up space. Now, if you're not in the developer beta program, just head to developer.apple.com and you'll see what's new in the current iOS beta. Then find iOS 18 or maybe iOS 26 in the future, then hit download in the upper right corner. You might need to sign in with your Apple ID. Once you're in, your phone will get access to the beta profile, and you'll be able to download iOS 26 beta as soon as it drops. If you're updating on your iPhone, you can install it directly in settings once you're enrolled. Here's a heads up, first betas are usually buggy. If this is your only phone, you might want to wait for the public beta in July. And always back up your iPhone first, either to iCloud or do a full backup using iTunes or Finder. That way, if you decide to downgrade later, you won't lose your data. Or, if you're using a computer and want to skip errors and storage issues, tools like Ryboot can install the beta for you directly. iTunes and Finder only show public updates. That's it. Whether you're updating on your phone or using a tool, now you know all the tips of how to prep for iOS 26. If this helped, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.